Well, hello everyone, it's Jordan Pally here, and today I will be exposing him of the show Wednesday and the movie Megan. Now, let's get started. The Wednesday show and the Megan movie are both very creepy and demonic. They both also promote witchcraft, which is very dangerous. Galatians 5, 19 Thirst, Home 21 says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. 1 Corinthians 6, 9-11 through 11 says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus, and by the Spirit of our God. But witchcraft is a work of the flesh, and that is... Oh, and that is what the show Wednesday and the movie and the movie Megan both not only promote witchcraft, but they are also very satanic as well. A scripture warns that those who do, do who do not repent of their sins would not inherit the kingdom of God, and this essential fact destroys the fabricated doctrine of easy believerism. If you repent and trust alone in Jesus Christ, then you will be saved and thereby become a part of the such for some of you. So the, the works of the flesh also goes against the fruits of the Spirit. And we should have the fruits of the Spirit. Uh, 1 Samuel 15.23 says, For rebellion is as the son of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the words of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Rebellion is also known as witchcraft. This means that lasciviousness, oh, this means that lascivious doctrines like egalitarianism, progressive Christianity, and easy believism are basically witchcraft. As Christians, we should not indulge in content that promotes witchcraft and we should not follow every trend just because it, it's popular. Just because something is very popular does not mean that we can indulge in it, especially since most things that become popular promote wickedness. If people are trying to peer pressure you into indulging in evil content or other types of sins, then you must rely on God's strength to resist the temptation. Indulging in evil content, including those that promote witchcraft, can have severe consequences. To overcome any kind of temptation, including peer pressure, you should spend good quality time with Jesus Christ, spend time in the prayer, read the Bible, and rely on God's strength to resist the temptation. Acts 19, 18-20 says, And many that believe came and confessed, and shewed their deeds. Many of them also, which used curious arts, brought their books together, and burned them before all men, and they counted the price of them, and found it fifty thousand pieces of silver. So mightily grew the word of God, and prevailed. If you have anything in your house that is evil, including books or DVDs of contents that promote wickedness, then you should throw that junk out, no matter how much money it costed. In Ephesus, there were people who came to the Lord, and then after they came to the Lord, they burned the evil books that they had before they got saved. Um, well, that they had from 
before they got saved, and those books, or, and those books were very expensive. We should not make any provision for them. If we keep the sinful things in our house, then that is making provision for them. For example, if you choose to give up smoking cigarettes, but at the same time we keep the cigarettes, then that is making provision for Satan. When we get rid of the sinful things, we must identify our triggers and then get rid of those triggers. Philippians 4 8 says, Family brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good reports, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. We must use this first as a guide to de determine if certain content is okay to indulge in or not. O obviously, the Wednesday show and the Megan movie are both not compatible with Philly Philippians 4 8 because that content is very satanic and they both promote witchcraft. As Christians, we should avoid mainstream secular music shows and movies because it's satanic. There are also plenty of mainstream secular songs that have a very evil message when played backwards. 1 John 2 15 through 17 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. We shouldn't be of the world, and the means. And the mainstream secular shows, music, and movies have a bad influence on other people. And the movies that okay, so the movies that we watch, the music that we listen to, the friends so who we hang out with, the videos that you watch, and the shows that you, that you watch all have an influence on you. We also shouldn't be friends with those who are a bad influence because bad company corrupts good character. Instead of indulging in content that has bad influence, we should indulge in biblically sound Christian content that will obviously have a good influence on you. I would also like to point out that since there is nothing wrong with sports games, whether Christians choose to watch sports or not, is a matter of conviction. And if you choose to watch a Super Bowl game that is Super Bowl 27 or later, then you should not watch the halftime show at all because the halftime show in the Super Bowls 27 and later are satanic. Likewise, if you do not feel convicted against watching sports, then you can watch sports in to the glory of God as long as you do not spend too much time watching sports, and as long as you do not idolize sports. Now, b before I, I end this video, I would like to point out that, um, um, that the reason why there was tapping earlier in the video was that I forgot to include oh, um, that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so earlier in the video, uh, I forgot to oh, include the parts in the um, manuscript. Um, that uh, the works of the flesh goes against the fruits of the spirit, and uh, I forgot to include that into the manuscript. Oh, when I put the manuscript for the video together. Alright, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, have a nice day, please subscribe to the channel, and please share this video, and now, goodbye.